Hey gang, Christian here with you today, and in this video we're going to be talking about 360 degree video in higher education. Let's talk about that. Now then, what do I mean when I say 360 or VR video? And honestly, what's the difference between the two? Well, they're kind of used interchangeably. VR and 360 video are terms that are used to express videos or images that are either stitched together or recorded using an omnidirectional camera. And the end goal is that the user can watch this video or image on either their phone or computer or using a virtual reality headset. And they can manipulate their own point of view by either scrolling, swiping, or looking in different directions. 360 degree images and videos are a great way to incorporate elements of active and experiential learning like virtual tours or targeted questions in a quiz or assignment or engagement elements like a role play or a lecture recorded in a pertinent environment such as a hospital, a social work office, or a theatrical stage. It all depends on what you want to showcase. Now there are a lot of video apps out there on the market when it comes to 360 and VR video. And you can find it just about on every social media application like Facebook and YouTube, Twitter, and so on. But the question is, how can we use this cool technology in education? Well, let's first talk about why you would want to. Online learning is too often designed with passive learning elements. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that lectures, videos, and even readings are considered mediums of passive learning. And while that's not necessarily a bad thing, we know that using active learning scenarios is a more effective way to give our brains the ability to change neural pathways and make stronger mental connections. This is known as neuroplasticity. If you want to hear more about neuroplasticity, click on the I in the upper right corner of this video to watch our series on neuroplasticity called All About That Brain. After you watch this video. Okay. The fact is that it takes a little more thought, understanding of technology, and creativity to create active learning engagement elements for an online environment, and that can be hard to visualize and even harder to bring those elements to life. But wait, what about my videos? Aren't my videos active and engaging? And on that note, I thought this video was supposed to be about 360 videos in the classroom. Trust me, I'm getting to that. Simply put, traditional video is great, but it's still passive learning. Students can sit back and watch or listen to your lectures, and let's face it, longer lectures are harder to listen to. So what if there was a way to put the camera in the hands of the learner with some targeted expectations to achieve an aligned outcome. Well, we can. Enter the 360 degree camera. Now, there are a lot of options on the market when it comes to 360 and VR cameras. And how to choose the right one for you in your classroom will depend on your intended use case. So, let's talk options. Now, the options we're going to look at today will range anywhere from free to a few hundred dollars. But, regardless of the cost, each have their own potential use for an online classroom. Now, Everybody loves free stuff. Well, guess what? If you have a camera on your smartphone, the odds are you already have the ability to work with 360 or VR footage. Go to your app store and type in 360 or VR camera and see what options are available for you. For this video, I downloaded and tried out the three following options. Cardboard camera, Panorama 360, and Camerata VR. Now, I've got to say for being free, these are pretty solid options for creating 360 images, but you get what you pay for. The free versions can't do videos without separately purchased 360 or VR camera equipment. But the images you can create are pretty cool. Now the next option we're going to look at is the Samsung Gear 360. Now I've played with this camera a lot and I've been very pleased with it. And to showcase its use, let's picture the following interaction. Imagine you're developing a quiz and one of your questions is a recall level question where you're asking a group of medical students to look at an image and identify an element of that image. Pretty standard question. But what if instead of using an image, you were able to embed a 360 degree video in the question text, asking them to find the patient's O2 reading or their current heart rate? This changes the question from a simple recall level question where they have to look at a picture and simply remember what they saw to an application style question. The student has full control of their point of view and must find the patient's O2 reading or heart rate on a monitor in the room. Using simple up, down, left, right controls in a YouTube video, the student has moved from passive learning to active learning and has increased their level of learning from recall to apply with this simple change in technology media. Now, that's a pretty grand and creative way of using 360. 
A more simplistic way is to imagine that you're standing in a room giving a lecture and have the ability to walk around and speak about what you're seeing, like in a library or a concert hall. Now the final option we're going to look at today is the Ricoh Theta 5, and this is at the higher end of equipment using full 4K video resolution. Now I didn't have quite the budget to shell out 400 big ones for this camera, but I encourage you to look up some of the camera's footage on YouTube. It's pretty amazing. So is there use for 360 video in the online classroom? Absolutely. By using 360 video, you can more effectively engage your students by putting them in the environment and giving them control, thus moving beyond the limits of passive learning and into active experiential learning. Now, if you have further questions, please feel free to reach out to us using our email, cdishelp at uc.edu. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us today. Click on the left to watch the next video in this series, or click on the right to watch another video from our channel. And don't forget to click the center channel icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching.